According to the National Restaurant Association, 3 billion pizzas are sold every year. In fact, 17% of America's restaurants are considered to be pizzerias. And while, of course, it's one of our favorite foods, it can also be a healthy food for us. Registered dietitian Lisa Rahm is here to show us how. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Good to mm -hmm. see you. you got a nice looking spread here. Everybody thinks pizza can't be healthy, but it is. It's got a lot of different layers of healthiness, doesn't there it? There it does. <laughs> and when you're asking yourself, what can I make that I like and make it healthy? Pizza is an easy solution because obviously we love it. We're selling three billion a year, yeah. right? So the question is, what ingredients are you using? So as a registered dietitian, there are several things that I emphasize. You would not be surprised to hear me say whole grains. Okay, right? that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so we can make start there with our crust. So we with make a basis crust? there. Yes, and you know a lot of people. Oh, I'm not going to make a whole crust at home. Well, there are so many cool options. This is the dough, the pre-made whole wheat pizza dough that you mm -hmm. buy in the refrigerated section of some of our local grocery stores. And all we have to do is roll it out. All I got to do is roll it out. Kids love that. You've got whole wheat prepared crust. Nothing to do there. And you can think outside the box. You know, flatbreads are really popular. Mm -hmm. Pita breads, which you can keep in the freezer, pull out as needed. Whole grain. You've got a base there. You're not thinking, oh, it's whole wheat. I don't like that because you're making pizza. So we think <laughs> options when we're thinking crust. Exactly. So that's the good thing. So it already starts dark, and then when we bake it, it just looks yes. and tastes delicious. Yes. And also, baking makes whole wheat a little bit sweeter. Sure. And when you put different things on it, you can balance that out. You know, something like tomato sauce is mm. going to give it a little bit bit of more sweet flavor because tomatoes are technically a fruit and if you have that layer of tomato sauce you can put anything you want on there but I always tell people go for at least two colors mm -hmm. every time so if you're putting black olives you're putting yellow red orange bell peppers you are getting a variety of vegetables that are rich in healthy fats in the olives mm -hmm. and you're also getting fiber in the vegetables and in the world of nutrition we know that one thing that people in this country lack in their diets is fiber Mm -hmm. So you can get it from whole grains, you can get it from fruits and vegetables. Um, over here I've got artichoke hearts. I love artichoke hearts. Come in a can, just get the low sodium. I've got fresh spinach on there. Um, red pimentos, which are just bell peppers. You can buy those in the jar. Mm -hmm. You don't have to get too fancy. Over here I put some pesto. And you know you can buy these little jars of pesto, so you're getting basil. So and we don't have to make nuts. our own. Yeah, let's keep it super simple. Okay. <laughs> and then I used canned corn, low sodium, of course, sun-dried tomatoes. Over here on this breakfast pizza, I've got peaches. Again, you mm. could use frozen, you could use canned, and these are actually dried cherries. I know that they're a little I, I difficult. They were prunes, but I'm like, <laughs> and that would and work for too. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> so you could sweeten it up by drizzling a little honey over top if you want. You know, mm -hmm. that's optional. And then ultimately on each of these, we have a different type of cheese. So I said fiber is really important, and that's one of the things most lacking in diets in this country. The other three are potassium, calcium, and vitamin D. Now you're going to get potassium from these colorful foods here. So you notice I've got a whole array of colors. Mm -hmm. You're also gonna get potassium from dairy. And since we put cheese on pizza, what a great opportunity. And most of us put double cheese on pizza. <laughs> and you're gonna get double calcium. That's and right. we're gonna get some vitamin D. Think as healthy as we can. <laughs> mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. Traditional fresh mozzarella. Um, over here I've got blue cheese. Love that robust mm -hmm. tang. And it goes really well with spinach and artichokes. Over here I've got feta, because you know what they say, everything's better with feta. I thought it was everything was better with butter. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> and then over here, ricotta, because it's nice and smooth and creamy. And this is one that children could assemble very easily. That could even be a great after-school snack. So there's so many different ways to incorporate all the things we want to make sure we're getting the fiber, the potassium, the calcium, the vitamin D, thinking color, 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 because there's so many benefits there. And there is that one other perk. A lot of people who can't tolerate milk can tolerate cheese because it's incredibly low in lactose because when cheese is made, the lactose breaks down. And that's the key. So that's lactose and color people can eat pizza. <laughs> exactly. That's good thing. You mentioned children could help make this one, but that also looks like a great thing that children would love to eat. And that's one of the, the keys is making something that they will eat. And I think brightly colored berries might go over better than prune possibilities. <laughs> the dried cherries. They might like that though, you there know, you because they're nice and sweet. And again, when you're making a pizza, it's all in what you like. And what you like. And that's what's so great is there's so many different, I mean, maybe you don't want yellow. Maybe you want to use sliced cherry tomatoes or whole tomatoes instead of tomato sauce. You know, just think, how can I get as much color as possible 
into every opportunity, and that's really a great guide throughout the course of the day. Um, you know, these are just things that I made up on a whim. If you go to the website um, for southeastdairy.org, they've got a wealth of valuable recipes from breakfast to lunch to dinner and so on um, with additional wonderful ideas. This is just kind of, hey, make it up as you go. We like that, and that's mm -hmm. one of the great things about cooking. You can do that, and mm -hmm. this is a wonderful way to get our, our um, daily requirement of fruits and vegetables. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Lisa Rome, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Great pizza. We're going to eat after this.